Hey everyone, uh, this is Tarek and Chase from Volume. And we decided that it was Friday and we had nothing else to do um, besides uh, show you guys what we've done with Pith on Paloma's testnet. So this is a raw demo. We haven't planned anything. We have no idea what's gonna happen. Um, and uh, everything may crash. We're super excited to showcase how you can get Pith price feeds on the Paloma testnet today. We're even upgrading our kernel as we speak. So, you know, this is really, really hardcore. All right, take it away, Chase. All right, so I have uh, two contracts deployed and mostly I've got, got this in little scripts. So um, I'm seeing stuff about eggs. What's that about eggs? Oh, well, there's nothing. Eggs nothing there, but <laughs> ignore the eggs. <laughs> um, so this is this is uh, how to instantiate the wormhole contract. Um, that Q, AAAQ is just the number four in base 64 with a bunch of zeros. Got it. Um, this is these are our values provided by Pith mm -hmm. um, to instantiate and then convert it. Uh, and then I also have the Pith bridge, and oh, that's okay, the cool. NG wormhole contract. Yep. Um, right there. And, and then, that wormhole contract is deployed on Paloma's testnet, yeah? Yes. Awesome. Uh, and then this Pith emitter is another value provided by Pith. So that's going to be something that they're using to sign VAAs on their end. Right. And um, when you say VAA, what does that stand for? So VAA is is uh, any I mean it's any of it's any of several things, but it's a blob of binary data that's been signed by PIP. Correct. Uh, and then when you when you verify it and unpack it, it, it might contain several things. Say, think... And when you say signed by PIP, you mean signed by the wormhole guardians? Yeah. Yes. Got it. All right. Um. So Ooh. you can provide. Uh, these are these are the five test test net only uh, symbols that they provide. Okay. Uh, so you have to have one of these giant hex strings. Is and that those hex strings look like Ethereum hex strings? Um, why are they zero x? Um, they're actually they're actually I think they're actually just thirty two byte. Okay. Strings. God, that's it. It happens to be Ethereum addresses, but Ethereum people use 32 byte strings for everything. So. For everything. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> let, me re let me recap what I'm seeing here. So we have Algorand USD, Bitcoin USD, Ethereum USD. Is that Luna or Luna that's Classic? Luna. <laughs> that <laughs> that's that. I didn't. <laughs> that's, that's the old Lunk. I think that's called now Lunk, <laughs> Lunk USD. And you have USDC USD. This is USD fiat to USDC, which is circle USD. Okay, so these are our five. These are six or five test nets um, uh, price feeds. Great. Um, yes. Yep. So you can curl one of these. Actually, you can curl all of these. Mm -hmm. uh, and so we're going to pull them from the test net from Pith. And this actually, this is a, a just a HTTP endpoint that, that yep. they provide. Yep. Uh, and that's the VAA in base 64. Awesome. So it's just awesome. this block. Yep. Um, but we can do the same thing and then submit that that VAA. We'll extract extract the uh, the prices and submit submit those VAAs okay. uh, to our to our contract from earlier. Oh, cool! So what what we're gonna do here is what you just did there is you demonstrated by um so you're catting so you're sharing us with us the script how it works and you're setting a variable um, where you're retrieving um, the API data from uh, from Pith's testnet and then um, you're going to essentially pull that into the script which will then execute the VAA by taking that data and um, creating a, a, a WASM transaction on Paloma's Cosm WASM uh, virtual machine so that you can actually insert the price into the block. So we will now have the trend that uh, the price will be a transaction on the Paloma blockchain. Is that correct understanding? That is. And so if you had, if you had, this is a very simple contract that just kind of reads these values, but if yeah. you had some other contract, you would be submitting these values, but then you'd also want like anybody can submit these values. Uh, if they're signed, 
yep. and, and more up to date than yep. they can find. Awesome. Um, awesome. This is super exciting. This is so cool. In this case, we just query them. And so they've got the same IDs again. Yep. Um, and this is actually querying our contract. Oh, wow. Cool. So the yeah. output from this uh, script is the, there you go. Boom. You just ran it. So that's the current ETH price, I think. Wow. So you have just currently shown that we have ETH prices on Paloma Testnet. Yeah. Uh, I, I feel kind of like there was just a moment where you skipped it and we just jumped into the chasm and, you know, we should have had like streamers and confetti, but you just did it so fast. <laughs> like, did I just miss that? <laughs> um, so here we go. So congratulations, uh, everyone. Uh, Paloma has Ethereum price feed on its testnet. And uh, this is testnet number six and um, secured by approximately 100 um, scrappy validators who um, are helping keep the network alive. Um, so these price feeds essentially now are decentralized and accessible to anyone who has access to the you know, endpoints for the Paloma testnet network. Cool. <laughs> All right. Um, we won't tell you yet what other stuff Chase has, you know, cooking for you to enjoy Pith Feeds, but we want to give special thanks to the Wormhole team. Uh, we want to give a shout out to Ali uh, from the um, Pith team, who was very helpful to our team to getting up and running um, as we moved um, Pith from Cosm 1.0 into getting Pith on Paloma. We also want to thank Saeed um, and Mark uh, for um, being supportive and, and um, really, really encouraging us to pursue this vision. Um, and congratulations to you guys uh, for being so kind because we love what we've done here. It's really amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we want to, of course, thank the rest of the Jump Trading team uh, for allowing us to do this. Uh, it took us a very short period of time. And I think what we want to do is we would like to start you know, exploring more feeds but you know, also maybe more importantly, making the feeds easily accessible um, and visible uh, on the Paloma blockchain so people know it's here um, and it's not a secret and they can start playing with it uh, to do it. Also wanna thank uh, Chase for his hard work. Um, you may not know that Chase uh, has been essentially leading our uh, Cosmosm and Rust development at Paloma. So he is head of all things Rust and um, he has more exciting stuff planned for you, but he can't tell you because he knows you're not, you're not allowed to tell you all the good stuff that is uh, coming through the pipe, but um, you should definitely join our telegrams um, and a discord and uh, reach out to Chase because he has all the cool stuff. And lastly, I want to thank all the Paloma testnet validators. Um, you're here, you're not getting paid. There are no incentives, um, but because of your work, uh, the Paloma testnet uh, and also the Pith testnet data price feeds on Paloma work and work flawlessly. Thank you all. And of course, thank you to the volume team, um, the rest of us that are here. Uh, thanks to Matia, Bira, and uh, everybody else on the team. Great job. And thank you, Chase. And with that, we wrap up with a thanks and a bye. Ciao.